Okay, so the other day I posted a video with the TSR3 versus the GT3, but I used a different shaft, and I got a lot of comments, so I heard you. I'm going to be hitting the GT3 with the Venta 6X, just to see the there is a club head speed difference. Uh, the two shafts are fairly uh, identical in weight and stiffness, but I figure, hey, might as well do a video and show you guys. So I'm going to hit four or five with each. Um, just to show you that the club head is faster. Okay, so here we go. Uh, again, I'm using Pro V's um, through, for every shot. I'll do four or five with each, and uh, we'll see the difference. I, I warmed up. I was swinging this 108, 109. Again, I will have the, the TrackMan data uh, to support uh, my claim. All right, I hit that pretty good. May have been a hair left. Uh, 109.6, 163, uh, 266, 296. It was a little bit of a low left shot, something that I see pretty often when I'm hitting. But to start, yeah, a little bit faster. 110, basically. 110, 162, that's a 148 smash, not a great strike. I'd say that was a pretty bad shot. All right, let's go again. Yep, I hit that one a little bit better. Just a hair left of target. It's 109.6, 163. Uh, club path two and a half right. That is, yeah, about 275 in the air. It's not bad. Okay, let's go again. So, so far 109.6 on both of those with the ball speed around 163. Okay, let's do another one. High draw intent. Kind of like the shot I almost always try to hit. Yeah, I hit that one really nice. Maybe a hair left. 109.7, 163. Again, I'll post the data. So these, these swings are all the same. That's 281, 306, 2400 spin. That's three shots. I think that's good. It, it's pretty clear that that's what that is. So let me change the, the head and we'll we'll uh, we'll try the uh, GT head. Okay, Ventus Black 6X GT3. I'm putting this on a D1 setting. Click this in and we'll get started. Double click. All right, let's go. Whoa. All right, so that was the same swing. Uh 111.5 165.3 281, 311, 2100 spin. So right out the gate, two miles an hour faster, a mile and a half more ball speed. Now the reason that didn't carry as far as I launched at 10.6, the other one definitely launched a little higher, but it totaled out to 311. So, so far one swing, uh, that was definitely a little bit faster. That's almost two miles an hour, which that's basically what I was seeing with the other one. You know, everyone wanted to say it was the shaft they want to dismiss that it's the head, but I'm telling you, it's just the head. This is the same stuff I saw in the fitting, which is why I didn't really change the shafts, but it's fine. We'll do it with the shaft too. doesn't really matter. The head just goes faster. If you don't believe me, try it. I guarantee you'll gain. That was a little bit of like a heel cut. Wow. 112.3, 166. 11.2, 283, 311 on a slight heel strike, 2375 on the spin. So that is now almost three miles an hour faster. It's a Pro V, it's just a white one. I ran out of the yellow ones. Again, I can promise you that's the same intent with the swing. Trust me, I'd love to be able to swing all the drivers at 112. Uh, it's, again, like I said in the last video, it's nice to be able just to swing what I feel like is the same and it goes faster. Yeah, I hit that really good. 112, 164, a little high toe. Definitely faster club head speed. I just didn't hit it great. At 289, 314, 2100 spin. So I would call that a miss hit. A miss hit at 112, 164, 289 is, is pretty good. I would definitely like to see that when I'm playing. Like I said the other day, I, I generally miss in the toe slightly. 
So if I miss in the toe, my spin's gonna be a little down. You know, that the nice thing is when I heal one, you know, this spin really isn't more than like 2,800, which is pretty rare. I, I really would not wanna miss it in the heel and spin it like 3,500. Okay, let's do one more. One more good one. And see uh, what the GT has to offer. Yep, I hit that one probably better than all of them. Yeah, that's 113, 167. Again, it's the same swing. That's 287, 306, uh, 2800 spin. Okay, let's do one more. One more just to see what my numbers are. Again, I'm, I'm probably getting 112 to 113 pretty easily with the uh, Ventus and the, uh, the GT, which is great. Again, I only got the other shaft just because I wanted something different. Similar similar makeup, I wouldn't say they're a ton different performance-wise, at least for me. Ooh, I hit that good. Maybe a hair right, but that's gonna fly a long way. Yeah, 111.9, 167, 285 in the air, it's great. Let's do one more. Still haven't hit one great on the face, that's just me. But I love these misses. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna miss shots. So if these are my misses, it's fantastic. All right, see if I can turn one over. Those high rights are definitely not helping my spin. Whoa, that was pretty good. 112.6, 166.7, it finally turned over. That's 289, 316, 2151 on the spin. So yeah, I think the uh, the driver definitely goes faster. I'm using the same shaft. You know, if you don't believe me, which is fine, like you guys should be skeptical. I advise you to go and try a, uh, go try one. And you should always be testing your equipment. It's totally fine. Like that that would be a, a leave no stone unturned mindset. You should always be checking your equipment. But I, I can promise you, I'm not, again, I'm not a guy who changes clubs a lot, so definitely check it out. If you like it, let me know. If you don't gain any speed, then you didn't gain any speed. All I know is I gain speed, and I've heard that other people are gaining speed, and it makes sense given how they design the head. So yeah, let me know, let me know what you think, and uh, yeah, best wishes. Hope the golf games are, uh, are dialed.